Hey everybody, welcome into HelenKennard.com. I'm Helen Kennard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome in. Please say hello when you first get here so I know who I'm stamping with. And um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been on, since I was off last week for the 4th of July holiday. I went down and visited my sister and brother and family. So um, I had a great time last week and I hope you did too. But then setting all this up, I realized that I didn't plug in my, um, my iPad. <laughs> so I hope it doesn't go out. I've got it hooked up to the, um, uh, to, to, I plugged it in. So hopefully it, it will be on the whole time. But tonight I thought I would do something a little bit different than I normally do. I normally do, uh, cards, but, um, Hey Diana. Hey. But I'm going to do um, some tech tags and a Christmas box. Um, this week I had my team meeting and I tried to um, have a, a projects or a class that they can do um, each month um, that they can copy or just use themselves. And this month we use, an, and I usually stick with one suite or bundle. This uh, month I'm using the Iconic Imagery stamp set and dies. And I hope I brought the dies. Yes, I did. Here they are. So um, this is a really fun bundle that's in the online exclusive. So it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I thought I would share with you um, some of the projects that we did. First of all, we made three cards. And look how cute that is with these um, little trees and the Peace, Love, Joy. But my very favorite thing, I even told my, uh, my, um, down, my team members that it's the, the gems. They're called... They're called Pecan Pie and Clear Ribboned. But y'all, and you probably can't see it online, but it has these little, it almost looks like ribbon in, in and out of those. But anyway, that was my favorite part <laughs> for the gems. But um, the dies, you know, cut out the little trees. And look at that one. Isn't that one so pretty? The little doves and peace. Yeah, I wish I could see the gems. And this one is celebrate the season. So it was a like a Christmas in July class. I was showing them, but I really like the DSP, the designer series paper. As you can see we've used a lot of that. Look at this. Don't you just love that? Um, really, really pretty. Lots of different things on here. It's, it's more than just Christmassy. Um, it has for, um, New Year's, Valentine's, you know, fall. Look at the acorns pumpkins, birthday, that could be 4th of July or New Year's, but you know, just lots of different um, occasions put in there. So it was the, the paper itself is a lot of fun. So um, as you can see in this paper here, the doves and then the stripes. I just really like it. It was a real simple class, but we also made two tags and a, and a box. So I thought that's what we are going to do tonight, just to change up things since I always do cards. So let's start with the box first so you can see how easy that is to make. Here's the, did I show you the, um, yeah, I showed you the 
stamp set. But um, I should have already had this on my stamps, my um, blocks for you. Of course I don't. All right, you. Let's see, there you are. I hope I don't forget to show you the cards that my, my team swap, my, um, my team did a swap that was so, so cute. And they did a great job. All right. So the first thing you're going to do, and I'm going to have all the measurements on my, um, on my website. Can you see that? You're going to cut your score lines. And when you do, you want to angle them in and get a little bit off. So you're going to be um, cutting it off so that when, they, when you get it, they're going to close a lot easier. Just up to this line on both sides, you want to cut off just a little bit. Who went and saw some fireworks? Anybody? We, uh, my sister, you know, was camping down on Emerald Isle, if you're familiar with, with the coast of um, North Carolina. So they had fireworks every night, <laughs> just about that they were there and somewhere around. So did we. I stayed in an Airbnb called the White House. It's between Swansboro and Hubert. And, um, yeah, everybody around there had um, fireworks, too. So, do you see how I have that cut out? Okay, so we are going to fold, fold on all the score lines. And on each side. Okay, so you're going to end up putting, you want to fold these in, and so you use your tear and tape for that. And we'll put it this way. Oh no. Oh, you look behind a, a park so you could see them from the back porch. Yeah, I bet that's fun. Ha! Huh. It was funny. We, um, we were talking, my family and I, about um, when we grew up, you know, my dad was in the Marine Corps. So we would go on base every year and watch from the tailgate of, of our car. And it, it was just a lot of fun. And it seemed like we got there very early. <laughs> Probably so my dad didn't have to fight the traffic. And, um, and then we were there, it seemed like, for hours. I'm sure it's really not that, but... Now let's see, if I put all this in, I want, yep, okay, I'm going to put some more on these two tabs too. Anyway, I don't know who enjoyed them more, my dad or, or us. They were five of us, five um, children.
as we got older, of course, oop, there were lots of Marines there, so we had lots of uh, flirting going on. <laughs> And that was funny. It's funny now. I'm sure at the time my parents didn't appreciate that. All right. Let's see if I can get this put together. So we want these two put in. Okay, do you see that? These two were put in first, the front. Then I put some on here on all the tabs. We're going to go on the inside like that. So we're doing good. We've got, you know, all the tabs are on the inside. Hope you can see that. And then the last ones are this one. And we're going to put it here and here. Oop. I didn't take the tabs off of these. peasy. All right, now one of the things that is in the online exclusive is the ribbon. This ribbon is really, really fun too because it's like, um, I want to say a half inch. Let me see, what's it say? One cm. Hmm. Well, it says white. <laughs> All right, Frag a three eighths of an inch, so a little bit smaller than a half of an inch. But it's real soft and pliable and easy to use. And I love white because you can turn it into whatever color you want it to be. So we're going. Oh wait a minute! I'm going to put this on first. So what we're going to do? I've, I've already got all this cut out. But um, we're going to start with these two pieces. But look at that. Striped. Looks like boho blue and misty moonlight with old dollar. I like it. Let me get my silicone mat. I feel like I've got to use it. Now you saw me get started. Sometimes you have to get it started. Okay, that goes on flat. There we go. Alright, now we put our 
ribbon along. Hey, Naomi. Oh, yes, it is a good idea, isn't it? I hope you had a good holiday last week, Naomi. Do you guys celebrate that? In Puerto Rico, do you celebrate the 4th of July? Let's see. Hopefully I left enough to make a bow. Y'all, I hate making bows. I'm going to leave it like that for right now. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Okay, now we're going to stamp two of these, which are good. with the old dog. What do I do with my chamois? Now, it sounds like it's trying to rain out there. I keep looking. It's almost been so unbearable, the heat. Let me go ahead and stamp the little circle and cut it out at the same time with cherry color. what this little piece is for. Of course it's going to get stuck. All right, I'm going to set it right there for right now. And I got my little cut and boss machine, my mini. I'm going to use the one and two plate. I'm going to put one in and then that one in. Now what did I do with the dies? They're right here. Okay. Some of that um, tape that, that you keep in here for when you want to um, die cut out things and it won't move. But I took it out, so I'm going to try and see if I can get this without using it. You know what that means. I have to get it started, and I'm trying to do it left-handed. Can y'all tell I'm going backwards instead of forwards? <laughs> I'm making it as hard as I can make it, basically, is what I'm saying. And now everything's going to drop. Yep. Ta-da! Ooh, that one turned out real good. Yay, so did that one. Whoop, turn over there. Okay. All right. Where can I put it that I won't lose it? All right, one more. One more. 
me see if I can do it again. It's funny how, okay, this time I'm going the correct way. I probably can't do it that way since it's going the right way. I can only do it, you know, backwards. <laughs> yep, it turned out good. Okay, all right, I'm happy. Um, one of the things that was a lot of fun about this weekend is that, you know, you know, when you have, like, family reunions or... Uh, this time it was my sister's uh, graduate, not graduation, her retirement. And, but we had a bunch of people come and that was always fun. So um, that doesn't normally come. And I think I enjoyed that so much. My sister-in-law, you know, as we've gotten older, it seems like we've gotten uh, more and more sickly so you just don't feel like it for one thing you know, who wants to go and not that anybody had COVID but you just don't want to go and get COVID you know or um, just feeling bad um, but my brother his wife um, my sister my other sister the one that's home all right, I hope y'all are watching me. I'm just going, <laughs> going to town. This is uh, Cherry Cobbler. Let's see if I can get that there. Ta-da! Yep. All right, I better, I better clean these stamps because y'all know me. I'll have it on my forehead and. <laughs> Arms. Yep, clean. One down. See, I'm already trying to get it on my scissors over there. Okay. Yay. Okay. All right. So we are going to put this on with dimensionals. So anyway, had a, had a lot of um, you know, my my people show up that I hadn't seen in a while, and it was just good. My son Chad and his girlfriend um, was able to come, so I got to show her off, and she got to meet. The good, the bad, and the ugly, you guys. I mean, I, I mean, let's be real. We all have family that's good, bad, and ugly. So, um, yeah, the good, the good. That's <laughs> what. Hopefully, hopefully, she saw everybody in the good. Wasn't that funny? So, um, somebody's trying to get up with me. I hope it's not someone saying. Um, we can't hear you because <laughs> y'all know that has happened before um, so I always feel like I've got to check that and make sure that it's not someone trying to tell me that they can't hear me anyway Oop. my husband came and that was good. And then I'm going to put the rest on with. He brought the um, he brought the our boat, and then it was too windy to go out. So a little bit disappointed. It took a lot of work. If anybody that has a boat knows that it takes work to, like, see, we have our boat up on a lift, so we don't have to use, we don't trailer it much. 
So then we had to go out and get, uh, or we wanted to go out and get um, some new tires on our um, trailer and make sure it wasn't going to go flat on the way down. And, and because he's taking it uh, in August to see his family as well. So, um, let's put some bling on. So we just need it, you know, so that's a lot of work. Get, you know, get on the trailer and then get all the um, tires and stuff checked. I'm going to use this really pretty one. Not that they're not pretty, but let's see. was a lot of work for, I guess, for my husband, not Pete. I didn't have to do anything. Isn't that pretty? Celebrate you. And you untie it. And no, I didn't. Oh, I thought I decorated it wrong. But look, you can get a lot of candy or um, jewelry in there. That's a pretty big sized box, isn't it? So let me see if I can get this ribbon tied better. Hmm. I don't know. Come on. I am not good at it. I had a customer yesterday that was trying to teach me. She made it look so easy. There, that looks better. <laughs> anyway, one project down. All right. I'm going to put these right here. These other two are real uh, fun. Oop. All right. First, next one, we're going to do this. This came out of here. Do you see that? Which is the um, greetings of the season dies. So what you want to do is put this line right above the fold. So you're going to fold your um, cardstock and then put that right above it so it doesn't cut it. So it ends up being that. And then you open it up like that. That's pretty cool, right? So. Okay, Joy, which is right here. I kept trying to get my uh, team to use the uh, U instead of the Joy last night. But they weren't going to have it. <laughs> I'm glad. It's hard when you first look at it. You think it's you. But it's really joy. That looks good. Where's my... Let me go ahead and... Okay, close this up. 
right, so where did my glue dots, there they are. I'm going to put these on with glue dots. We all probably know already that this month Stampin' Up! is having their bonus days. And what that means is for every $50 that you spend, you get a $5 coupon to buy something next month. So, um, oh, I always love that because everything I spend, I get to use on a, a coupon. I get a coupon for next month. Oop. Look at me. Put that right there. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, dimensionals. Mm. Let me see. I already have these cut. Yes, I do. Pretty, uh, oh, yes, you do it. A fourth of July, yeah, in Puerto Rico, too. Huh. Well, that's good. All right, so that leaves this. So you, you just Try to pick out, you know, how long you want your linen thread to be and thread it through. It was funny, Diana. I um, told my family, oh, I'm staying at the old Taylor house um, in an Airbnb that they've Oh, yeah, everybody knew that house. <laughs> when you grew up there, everybody knows everybody. So it was just, oh, yeah, that was a, such a pretty house. All right, two tags down. <laughs> it's pretty, isn't it? You guys are going to love this set. You just really are going to love it. What did I do? There's the box. All right, last one. And again, you're using... Uh, the um, greetings of the season. So you're using this one this time. See that? So makes makes making tags very easy, as you can see. Okay. We've got a puppy dog out there making all that noise. Do y'all hear it? All right. Celebrate in the misty moonlight. We're going to be fussy cutting some of this. No, yeah, Misty Moonlight. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no, I need this to stay out. I have to get the, um, get the snowflake. And the two snowflakes. That's what this goes on. There.
Diana, do you did you go for your walk today? It's almost too hot to go. I don't know how you're doing it. Cut these two out with my all right. There it is. Looks like a star on this. Two snowflakes coming up. Got it going with the right arm. My son's coming back from Brownsville tonight. He's been down in Brownsville uh, with his girlfriend. So I'll be glad to have him back. You know, they had the herd coming down and missed him. I was so worried about him. And then they had shark attacks and all kinds of stuff going on, I guess, because of the hurricane. And I just wanted him to get home. But luckily for him, it all missed him. Yay. So, they ended up having a great week. Okay, this is the part that I'm going to fussy cut. Now, when you fussy cut, you want to move the paper and not your scissors. And you want to leave a little bit of the white showing. So you don't have to get right on top of the blue. And you can get as detailed or not as you want. But, um, yeah, we don't have any dyes for this. Again, you, you know, you're moving the paper. That gives you a um, better cut instead of using the uh, scissors to move around. So see, I'm not going all the way down. That's what I mean by you don't have to be um, as detailed as you as you want. And we're almost done. There. Nice. Celebrate. Okay. One of these go on with goes on flat right here. This goes on with dimensionals.
one more. I'm going to put it kind of not straight across, but okay, one more. Yep. And then some bling. Yep. I'm going to put one oop where'd it go oh i lost it oh and you know that the other thing one of my team members brought this up about the um about these is there flatter so like when you go across, you barely feel them. So they will go through the metal a lot better. Can you see it? Oh, then you put your um, ribbon on. Okay, let me see if I can get it through there. Let me try this end. I'll be fighting it. Come on. Nope, I'm going to have to use my pokey tool. Maybe that one. There. Oh. There. Very nice. All right, we're all done. So, these are the three projects we did. Something a little bit different tonight than what we normally do. Let me clean up, because I want to show y'all the cards that my team did. All right, the, uh, the directions for all of these will be on my website tomorrow, so uh, make sure you get, go there and take a look at it. But the theme for this month's swap was wedding or bridal. So I had um, Sheila made this using the uh, Seaside Wishes, but look at that. She used one of the cutouts for the seashells for the sentiment. I thought that was pretty cool. And she used the um, dies. I mean, the um, of course, the dies, but the embossing folder as well. Wishing you a happy ever after. Oh, love never gives up. Oh, don't you just love that? That was from Sheila. This one was from Penny. Congratulations on your wedding day. We're very pretty. Love that paper. She did a good job. This one was Wanda. Ha! So cute. Mr. and Mrs. 
Isn't that adorable? Mm. She did a good job. This one was Debbie. I was trying to think. Oh, and see, yep, I love the I love this fold. It just folds over. Yeah, very pretty. Congratulations. Very, very pretty. Now look at this one. This one was Wendy's. I thought this was just adorable. Congratulations. And didn't she do a great job coloring that in? But look, wishing you all the happiness in the world. She did a really good job. I am just so proud of everybody. They're very um, talented. So. Oh, thanks, Diana. Yeah, it was hot and muggy. Oh, you haven't gone tonight yet? Hey, Libby. Hey. <laughs> I'm so glad everybody could come. All right. Well, let's see. Next week, I'll be right back here at um, 7 o'clock. And we'll have some more projects to do. This one was from uh, my team meeting, so I had some left over. <laughs> so I thought, well, I might as well use it for my um, Facebook Live tonight or YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, for sure, subscribe to my YouTube channel or give me a thumbs up and follow me here on Facebook. I meet most every Wednesday. Last week I did take off, but most every Wednesday. And, um, and we usually have a lot of fun. Come see me. We'll take care and see you next week. Bye-bye.